Hello everyone welcome to success education today we'll be doing the solution for science journal for standard 8 experiment number 5 the aim is to study displacement reactions apparatus and materials are beaker and the substances to be used are copper sulfate zinc sulfate iron sulfate zinc granules iron nail copper turnings and water and figure is already given so the procedure is take 500 ml beakers and label them as a b c d and e take 50 ml of water in each beaker in beakers a and b dissolve a spoon of copper sulfate in beakers c and e dissolve zinc sulfate and in beaker d dissolve iron sulfate add zinc granules in beaker a and put iron nail in beaker b put copper turnings in beaker c and d put iron nail in beaker e observe the change in different beakers now the observation is in beaker a zinc replaces copper from copper sulfate solution and the blue color of the solution disappears a red powdery mass of copper settles at the bottom of the beaker In beaker B iron replaces copper sulfate solution to form iron sulfate a red powdery mass of copper settles on the iron nail there is no change in beakers C D and E and the conclusion is a displacement reaction took place in beakers A and B no displacement reaction took place in beakers C D and E now test your knowledge answer the following questions in one sentences first one give the name of four metal elements so iron aluminum copper and nickel are metal elements second give the name of four non metal non metals which are in solid form so carbon sulfur phosphorus and iodine are solid non metals third give one name of each metal and non metal which are in liquid form So mercury is a metallic liquid and bromine is a non-metallic liquid. Fourth one, give the name of four non-metals which are in gaseous form. So oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen and chlorine are gaseous non-metals. Fifth one, write two uses of sulfur. So the uses of sulfur are first one is sulfur is used as a fungicide. and second it is used in black gun powder for the vulcanization of natural rubber and here we come to the end of experiment number 5 i hope you understood the complete experiment if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section i'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you